All right, welcome. Welcome to the College of Complexes. My name is Tim. I'd like to welcome everybody here tonight to the college. The college consists of the following format. First, we'll have a brief announcements period. Then our speakers will speak for up to about an hour or so. And then we'll have our question and answer period. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have our rebuttal period. And we generally break down a break up about nine o'clock or so. But, you know, if we get a lot more, we can start, uh, you know, uh, we can keep going on because you don't have the constraints of the restaurant on Zoom. Okay, Charlie, whenever you're ready with the announcements, we'll start on the announcements period. Okay, welcome everyone to meeting number 3,663 of the College of Complexes, the playground for people who think. First of all, as always, we have a Google email group which I recommend you sign up for. Instructions on the center tap of our website. We also have a meetup group, which functions in the same way. You will get one or two emails only uh, informing you of the topic coming up at the COC. Now, although I am not a capitalist- What about our Facebook I page, Charlie? A, what? We also have a Facebook page too that they can come to. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, although I'm not a capitalist, I will give an advertisement for our upcoming programs. On April the 30th, we will continue with our Earth Month, Earth Day series of presentations. We will be looking <laughs> at forestry in the United States and the proof that there is a primitive uh, relic hominid species residing in those forests. <laughs> so this should be a good topic. I've been working on it for some time. So tell your pals, this is a good one. Yeah. All right, transitioning into May, our traditional May Day speaker. We will be hearing from the IWW. We're hearing from the North American national president herself, uh, the IWW, the industrial workers of the world, the Wobblies. Going into May 14th, we will hear from the Truth Brigade of Indivisible Illinois, uh, and the way to ascertain truth from fiction in the media. You guys all need that, that one, that's for sure. On May 21st, we will hear about a project regarding health disparities in the United States, regarding racial and ethnic communities, as well as the toll being taken by long COVID due to COVID-19. On May the 28th, we'll hear about efforts to stop. They want to stop the uh, elements that are showing up at school boards uh, in public hearings, trying to advance their anti-vaccination campaigns and bring it in to any sort of critical race theory dissemination. So May the 28th should be a good one. June the 4th, our own Professor Bob Lichtenberg will be talking about his new book on making meaning, which would be a good program. Uh, he's got eight books out now on the topic. June the 11th, we just added this new program. We're gonna have a debate between Justin Tucker and Charlie Earp, Reverend Charlie Earp, to determine if Jesus <laughs> was a communist. Was he commie? Was yes. Jesus a commie? <laughs> uh, and then rounding out on June the 18th, Dan Bader, community psychologist, will be talking about the incidents and evidence of hoarding uh, material, aggressive Ooh. materialism, uh, probably as a result of uh, free market capitalism, largely. No, I think it's but, something you could use, Charlie. Yeah, definitely. people fill their houses full of things made by children in Asia. Sure. Uh, anyhow, our next open dates, if you'd like to get on the schedule, 
will be June 25, uh, July 2nd and 9th. Now regarding announcements in general, uh, next weekend, there'll be the Illinois State Convention of the Illinois Green Party, to which all are invited via Zoom production. Uh, and all will be invited to attend as well as there'll be a conference of the war tax a resistance. Who wanted to fly and flew too close. To Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, well, right. uh, next week will be a conference of the war tax resistors league. If you don't want to pay for war, uh, you know, you'll learn how to do it and get to know some other anti-war, long-term anti-war activists. All right, Tim. All right, uh, you Jan, you have, a, you have another announcement you'd like to bring to the group. Do you want me to put up the NEIS website for you? Unmute, Jan. Well, I already put the, yeah, the NEIS website is just NEIS.org. I'll pull it up so we can get the whole, the whole thing in there. Okay. And uh, you have an announcement about something go pertaining yeah. to them. So go ahead and let's get that it's, announcement. It's out. going to be uh, this coming Thursday, uh, the Forgotten Faces of Nuclear. Oops. Where's there. it at? Where's it at? I just I just disappeared. I had the chat up and now it's. No, okay. that's okay. Um, the, I got the, I, uh, I'm uh, sharing uh, this. I'm sharing the site. Where's where would I go? Oh, I don't think it's going to be there, but I I, I don't know, uh, Tim. Okay. I haven't looked for it there. That's all right. I put it on in the chat. Um, okay. It's the forgot the forgotten faces of nuclear power connecting the global anti nuclear movements. It's a discussion by Linda Pence Gunter. She is the international expert for uh, mm -hmm. uh, Beyond Nuclear International, and she has been she's done some traveling in Europe and uh, knows a lot about Ukraine. And um, this is. The Nuclear Energy Information Services Public Meeting, Night with the Experts, April 28th at 7 p.m. Central. And uh, if you want to come to this, please, or you want to know about it, even if you don't come, you can uh, email me at janbudar1 at gmail.com, or you can go to uh, Dave Kraft's email at neis at neis.org, and we will send you an invitation with the link to the meeting. So it will be simulcast on Zoom and live, then, correct? Uh, simul did you say that again? I meant, I meant, I meant, uh, I meant as the meeting goes on, it'll be what they call a hybrid meeting, right? Or will it just be a footage available? Oh, no, it's, it's just Zoom. It's not hybrid. Uh, we don't okay. have any in-person stuff. Okay. But, but um, uh, what what we do have is that the the person's presentation is recorded. Okay. And and uh, the uh, Linda Pence Gunter her presentation will take about a half hour. Okay. And then and then we have an hour for discussion because we want people to become acquainted with the speaker and to be sure that they get whatever they want to talk about, uh, about um, uh, anti-nuclear organizations and, you know, off their chest. So we, we have a long time for discussion. Okay. All right. Anybody else with an announcement real quick? Seeing none. All right. Uh, Let's get right down to our speakers, Toniel and Richard. And uh, why don't you introduce yourselves and go ahead and do your presentation. If you need to share the screen, go ahead. Uh, that it should be working. If you have a PowerPoint or something you want to present. Otherwise, take it away. Well, I'll introduce myself first, but I'll let Mark start with his presentation. So I am Tennille Jackson, and I am running for the two-year term for the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District Commissioner, and Mark Bittner is running for the six-year term. So go ahead, Mark. We'll start with you officially. Hi, everybody. Mark Bittner, um, I spent about 15 years in the wastewater industry, New Mexico. I have a water technology wastewater degree from New Mexico State University, uh, worked as treatment operator in New Mexico and also as the industrial waste grease police in for restaurants in New Mexico. Then came on to the district and worked at the Kiri Des Plaines 
facility, which averages between 35 million gallons and 120 million gallons, depending upon the rains, of wastewater treatment a day. Um, familiar with most of the processes and most of the developments and uh, a great deal of new regulations and permits that are going to have to be approached and met. I, the district is very, very large and has done some great things in the past and kind of needs a little updating. Um, the plants are very, most of them are, are old and need a lot of fair amount of upkeep, restoration and replacement of um, equipment, basic equipment. And there are nutrient um, limitations that are going to be coming in within the next two years. And then five years after that, they will become even more stringent for that, for phosphorus and total nitrogen. Um, there are issues with microplastics. There are issues with PFAS and PFOAS. And there are issues with that getting into the biosolids and compost, which are being used for corn production in central Illinois. Um, there's a whole lot of things. I, I, I religiously listen to the um, board meetings every other week and have a fair amount of questions about some of the contracts. That's, I spent about 30 years in horticulture in seven different climate zones. Uh, I used to trim trees here. I was a Boy Scout 100 years ago and I probably swam in every river and every lake possible um, before the Clean Water Act. And I, I would really like to, my kind of three points are, you know, I would love to clean up these rivers and, you know, for, get them to go back to swimming and canoeing and recreation and fish. I don't, I, I cross the Des Plaines River every day. I run across the bridge and I don't see that many fish down there. And I would love to see a lot more fish. I see guys fishing and I don't see any, any of them pulling anything out. Um, I would love it for recreation, for canoeing and ultimately swimming. Um, so it's your river, let's clean it up. And then stormwater issues. Um, my, I was raised in Mount Prospect. We had a basement that flooded on a regular basis. Uh, my father was part of the Weller Creek Commission, which probably got part of the deep tunnel built and the Kiri plant built um, because the river used to come up two blocks away from our house and our basement used to flood on a regular basis. And then the third uh, major point is it's your money. It's, it's, it's in our property taxes. It's in our utility bills every month. You're giving the district your money all the time. And I would like it to be spent in, let us say, more reasonable ways. That's about all I can skim through right now. Uh, Tony, Hill, if you want to go, go ahead. Sure. So um, what I kind of had was more of a, because um, I was thinking that we had about 10 to 15 minutes to speak. So I don't know how much everybody knows about um, MWRD, about the board, about what our job is or what it is that we're looking to do upon being elected. And so, you know, humor me <laughs> in this because, again, this is my first uh, College of Complex um, appearance, if you will. And so I just wanted to make sure I, I'm that I'm more of a personable type in my presentation. So just in case anyone had not heard of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, um, as Tim said, there are seven plants throughout the Cook County area. And so a lot of times what I have found um, when we began to petition, what I found was that most people had not either heard of the MWRD at all. Um, they did not know what the MWRD did. And then more specifically, they did not know what the Board of Commissioners do. And I think that it is very important to note that what the commissioners do 
is not the same thing as if you actually worked at a plant, right? So you don't necessarily have to be um, as knowledgeable about, you know, like uh, the different water, the waste management and all of that as a commissioner, as what our jobs is to do is really establish the policies that's going to protect uh, water, the water environment and then also what we do is we provide financial oversight so we invest in the wastewater plants yes and we provide that fiscal oversight um, for what it is that they are doing and so within that um, in terms of who I am. So as I've kind of already alluded to, no, I am not your scientist. I get people, so this is not my first interview. Um, and a lot of times people will say, well, what, um, what encouraged you or what possessed you to run? Because uh, many of those those who run for commissioner like Mark may have extensive background in either water, wastewater management or they're chemists or scientists or conservationists, but who I am, what I am bringing to, a ta to the table is something completely different, right? That is not my background. I have a master's degree in business administration, um, but who I am is an organizer. What I have knowledge in and experience with is grassroots democracy, right, which is something that the MWRD looks for. What I know is being able to organize. What I know is community, being able to connect with people. And so um, when I was approached by the Green Party to run for this office, I initially was intimidated because of the fact that I didn't have that specific knowledge. But what I said to myself was knowing, you know, my ability to learn, you can always learn new things, right? Right? So it's not to minimize what people who have those degrees know, but it is to say that for me, it was really about having a heart for the issues. And so what I did, I began to research about the MWRD. I went to their website because before I even said, yes, I'm going to do this, I wanted to kind of know what I was getting myself into. And so upon going to their website, they have an entire like department of about this gear for educating, right? And so for me as a person, that's what I do. Like, even if you were to go to my website, which is my name is Tenille.com, my tagline is I educate and empower. So whether you're talking about through my books, through my services, whatever it is that I do, my organizations, everything that I do is geared to educate and empower. And one of the things that I have seen uh, where the MWRD at large, the Board of Commissioners, where they come up short is getting people involved. I have read multiple articles where they talk talk about when it's time to vote that that particular um that area when we're talking about voting for the commissioners that receives the least amount of votes year in and year out and that's typically because nobody has ever heard of it when you're looking at media coverage typically you don't get anyone covering the commissioners no one is talking about it even commissioner Campbell uh, Dubu Clay said that the MWRD is the most important agency that no one knows about. And so for me, that's really what I'm doing. Upon being elected, my one of the things that I really want to do is to bring awareness, increase awareness to the Cook County residents, right? Like explain not just who we are and what we do, but why you should care. Most people think that when they have issues with running their ward in the house, that that's an MWRD issue for those who have even heard of MWRD. But the fact is that that, that has nothing to do with the MWRD. It's all of the water that leaves your house, right? So what they're trying to do is clean whatever that water is, treat whatever that water is to then redistribute it back to the local waterways. And because a lot of people don't really understand how it works, they don't understand why they should get involved. And I have found that to be the case with not just this issue, but with many issues at large, when people understand why they should care, when you talk to people on a regular, you know, personal, person to person level, and you get the most people, if they themselves, as Mark shared his story about having the 
a basement flood. If you have not had a basement flood, you probably know someone who does. You probably understand the damage. And in some cases, it's irreparable damage that has been done because of that flood. And so many people, if they understood that there were things that they might be able to do to get involved, they might want to learn more, right? When you go to the website and they talk about the different educational um, activities that, that they have supposedly, um, those are areas where they could do better. Like they have a, an annual event that they do. And because of COVID, obviously the last couple of years, it has been online. But in terms of views, they have not had, I think for one year is 127 views. One year, it was 93 views. So what is my point? When it comes to that educational perspective, although their mission, when they talk about wanting people to be involved, they want people to be part of the solution, but where they are falling short in my um, estimation, at least one of the areas, is the fact that they are not actively and consciously working on doing things to get the average resident involved. As Mark said, it is the taxpayer dollars that goes to fund that. So we should definitively have more of a voice as it comes to that. So for me, um, as I say, one of the reasons why I am running is because I do have a heart for the residents. I, I, I say it in a jokingly way all the time, but I don't really consider myself a politician. <laughs> I consider myself more of a public servant. I have been married for over 20 years. I have children. So Tim, when you were talking earlier, like I have four biological children, but I've raised seven children. And so when you're talking about servanthood and no... <laughs> know a thing or two about uh, being able to come, bring people together, being able to sacrifice. That's really what my entire life has already shown. The proof is in the pudding, so to speak. And then when you talk about having an organization of women, and I'm glad to be a woman, I am somewhat of a feminist. You know, I'm a feminist with traditional beliefs. Um, but I think that when you look at the makeup, the current makeup of the MWRD, again, for those of you who may not know, it consists of a board of nine individuals. For this particular election year, of those nine, there are only going to be four people on the board. So five of those people, two um, are running for different offices, and that's the president and one of the other members. The vice president is retiring, and then two of them are looking to be reelected. So to me, this is a great time to bring in like some fresh blood, somebody who has a different, not just a different opinion, but some different experiences, because if you have a current commissioner who is saying that one of our issues is the fact that people don't know about us. I think that having someone to come into the office to who that is one of my priorities to not just bring awareness, but then have different plans to move people into action. If you guys will permit me a moment, um, I was when I was on their website, they give nine tips to protect waterways, right? So for me, I've listed, I, I, I've gone through those uh, tips. So when they talk about food or even how to wash your cars better, pharmaceuticals, microbes, uh, nutrient pollution, pesticides, pet waste, salt, and trash, those are all things that tips that they give in which people, if they implement these tips, it can help become better. But there are no concrete plans in place to ensure that these things are actually being done. So one of the things that I want to do is put together, um, I, I'm kind of calling it like a countywide contest, but put some tangible way together where you can literally um, be able to quantify the change. So you don't just have to guess and see maybe people are doing this. And I'll give you a concrete example. With the pharmaceuticals, we're talking about water, right? So we know that when you, if you were to flush unused pharmaceuticals down the toilet, it then is flushed into our water supply. So now there's water contamination. However, the MWRD only has four official collection sites, meaning you can go to four, in all of Cook County, there are four official drop sites where you can can go to uh, use or to dump your unused pharmaceuticals. And I'm going to stop right now because Amanda's asking if she may say something. Yeah, go ahead, Amanda. Unmute and uh, um, Amanda, go ahead, put your hand down, unmute, and let's see what you got to say. Come on. 
Okay, okay Amanda, we're, 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 we we got you online. Sam, we have a format. I know. I think she might be one of the speakers with the, as part of the, one of the speakers are, are concerned. She's not a, I don't know. All right. She's not a candidate. No. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll get into the question and answer session in a few minutes. If you guys are finished with your formal presentation. Okay. I'm, I'm just about done. I'm just. About okay. Done. Then go ahead and uh, finish. Cause normally what we do is we take questions after the formal presentation and then we do our rebuttals. Okay. So, um, so in either case, what I was saying was with the uh, pharmaceutical, the four collection sites that you have, like to me, that's unrealistic to only have that amount of collection sites with the entire, the, we have almost 6 million residents in Cook County. And I'm sorry, but can we have Amanda mute herself? Cause it's kind of- I'll, I'll, I'll do it. That's okay. Thank Thanks, you. Amanda. Thank you. Um, but in either case, is is when you are talking about trying to get the public involved, you have to make it a little bit easier for them to help because even with the other local collection sites that they say that they have, there are different types of restrictions okay. as to what you're able to drop it off, when you're able to drop it off, how and why you're able to drop it off. So like, say if you wanted to go and you drop off something on a Tuesday, if you go in Tuesday, at noon, it's a good chance that they would say, well, you know what? You just missed it. The cutoff time was 1130. So what I would like to do is even no, 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 amount no, no, of drop boxes. No, no, no. So that way we no, would be no, no, no. able, so that way we would be able to have more people participate in reading of those pharmaceuticals and so in either case i'm just going to kind of because i've, I've kind of lost my train of thought i'm sorry but it's it's been it was a little bit distracting um and so in either case the point just being that i wanted to make sure that everyone number one knows that there is a little bit of difference of serving on the mwrd itself so working at a mwrd plant versus being uh, the actual commissioner. And so just understanding what our responsibilities are as commissioners. Tim, um, just blank mute them out, Tim. Come on. Have, How yeah. hard is that? We have um just do Am it. Am Amanda on. Amanda uh, she 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 knows. She's it's muted now. Weird. Yeah. Thanks. She's muted now and I think it just might be a, a, a user error on her part. So we're good. All right, go ahead and finish, uh, Tanil. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Um, so the point, like I say, the point that I wanted to make was simply in giving everybody just a general knowledge on what it is that the actual um, board of commissioners are responsible for doing. So yes, we do need to have knowledge about what we do with the Metropolitan Water Reclamation Districts, what's done at the plants, having that knowledge, understanding, you know, contracts, as Mark was talking about how every other Thursday they have they have uh, meetings that the general public are able to attend. So if you wanted to know what's going on, you do have that opportunity, that ability to know. Um, so some people just need extra attention, more attention than others. And you know, this is just the world that we live in. Uh, so in either case, that's really in general. I'll Tim, leave it there. You do the muting. Tim, you mute, okay? Just do it that's and leave I've it muted. No, you didn't. Somehow you're you're turning Ellen, it off. Ellen, if Ellen, it's muted on your side, she it doesn't come in. This is really, really she distracting. Keeps on, and Ellen, Ellen, um, she keeps on mute. You know, I think what she does is she keeps unmuting herself after I mute her. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm trying my best to keep it going. Amanda is yeah. now unmuted and she's listening, but I think um, I think it's just a simple matter of a. Uh, she may be having some troubles, and I will just leave it at that. Okay, Amanda will be ready to go with the question and answer period soon. I apologize, no. to Neil, for whatever. Okay, you know it's it's okay, and I don't necessarily think that whoever Amanda is, unless she's one of your regulars, it may just be a hacker because sometimes people are yeah. able. 
to hack into. Um, so once you have, because what happens is, and I'm sorry, this is a sidebar, but what happens is when you give your link to the general public, anybody can get it. And so mm -hmm. then people just begin to hack in. So I believe that this is just what we call in the uh, virtual world a troll. So I, I, I think she's a legitimate guest. Okay, so she's, she's legitimate. Case, so she's what, listening. She's a good. What I will do guest. is I will I uh, I'll just stop right now so that way we can kind of because I think it's kind of um I've kind of lost some points. So and when I say that, I mean just in terms of my train of thought and with everybody listening to follow. So I think just for the sake of format, I think that right. it would be best if I just kind of yield the floor and we get different momentum going by getting other people involved and then we can kind of like pick it back up that way. Okay, Amanda, you want to make say something to us? Because uh, we can hear every crunch. Damn, everything damn, We're damn, going we got to a question. Okay, yeah, I know. yeah Tim, you can mute another person and leave it muted, okay? Like you it. do it. You just do it from your end and keep it that way, and then we'll all what ask questions. What do you think I'm trying to do? Well, uh, well, then figure it out. I don't. I thought I the moderator could mute somebody. All right, listen. I think it might just be a simple matter of her. I mute her, and then she unmutes, but that's okay. I mean, you know, because we and have open the floor to questions and we're going to open the floor up to questions now and I'll entertain anybody who's got a question for our two candidates. And uh, seeing as how Amanda did have her hand raised earlier, if she wants to ask a question, uh, Amanda, you're ready to go with a question or, or not. I think she's connecting to audio again. Um, and if not, we'll go move on. Who's got a question for our speakers tonight? Okay. Um, I do. Go ahead, Charlie. Yeah, I'm not certain if this is totally relevant to the Water Reclamation District, but the only river I really am familiar with is the one that runs along the north side of the loop. Those places uh, along Lake Street. Tim, are you doing anything? Yes, I am. Are you awake? All right, I'll it's begin dead. again. The Ellie River I'm totally familiar with is the one <laughs> that runs uh, on the North Loop. And I was wondering, what is the quality of water, you know, offhand in that river? If I were to fall in it, uh, would I live, would I come out alive? And there's also the second part of my question is, there's a lot of people among republicanism who say there are too much regulations. Are there too many regulations on companies regarding uh, what they discharge into our waterways? Or is it, is it too much or too little? Mark, why don't you go ahead and take a stab at that one? That's the North Branch of the Chicago that, you, that you're talking about. That is south of the O'Brien Skokie, I, it's changed names again, plant. That plant is probably the third largest. Um, and as long as it's not after a rain and not after they've had a CSO and have dumped, that plant has got a UV um, sterilization, uh, a sanitation, clean water type of thing that was installed about six years ago that has been working relatively well. Um, the river, the amount of fish, the amount of mussels and everything have increased. There is a... Um, North Branch River Conservationist Group, um, Kingsbury Street, off south of North Avenue. They have put a bunch of um, floating islands and they're doing a lot of monitoring of the macroinvertebrate. So things have improved. I don't know if I would drink the water out of there after a rain event. Uh, I don't think it'll kill you right away. There is a question about a bunch of the rivers. What is on the bottom of the rivers? Kind of like the bubbly creek problem. Um, 
all of the industrial water users are supposed to be monitored on a regular basis as to what they're what they're putting what they're how much water they're taking in how much pollutants they're putting out and being charged a surcharge whether or not some of them should be pre-treating i actually have talked to a couple of breweries the amount of water that breweries use um can be for one gallon of beer it can take seven gallons of water which ends up as waste which means that six of those gallons ends up as wastewater going into the sewers and going into the treatment plants and possibly the river if it rains too hard um there is a great deal of monitoring that goes on there are some facilities that are monitored more or less there are some facilities that do certain dumping at certain hours of the day uh, so they're not monitored the end of it is the illinois state should needs to start monitoring downstream um downstream to what as it goes to the mississippi to try to pick up what happens and what's been going in um there's regulations i am always there are new regulations that are coming in with their within every two two ten five years um they're necessary uh the dead zone in the gulf of mexico gets bigger and bigger every year because of nutrient pollution um, the nutrients come from farms, golf courses, and a lot of wastewater plants and a lot of industrial manufacturers all up and down the Mississippi, which ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, yes, regulations and enforcement. Illinois has been a little bit slow on a lot of enforcement and a lot of regulations. And um, the MWD has kind of been the um elephant in the room um you don't want to poke it uh and you want to you want to work with it somehow and i think that's it, most of the questions okay uh who's next okay this is question time we had we're answer, answering people um toniel what um do you think you might be able to give to the water reclamation district board so again, that kind of comes into just the um, community piece as well as, so when you look at some of the uh, former commissioners who are not long, no longer gonna be there, each commissioner has various agencies that they were over. And so uh, for example, with, um, with Barbara McGowan, I had to remember her name, with McGowan, she was over like a NWACP committee. Um, so they, they do other things than just the actual MWRD oversight. So for me, I'm definitely looking to jump in as it pertains to dealing with various committees with, edu again, educating the public at large, getting the community involved uh, to make sure that what, what continues to happen does not continue to happen, right? So the fact that moving forward, at the very least, people will know about the MWRD. At the very least, people will not just know some things that they can do, but we can report the fact that people are doing it. So if you get more boots on the ground, get people more hands on with the various communities, it's 129 communities in the Cook County area. And so if we can like, and so again, for me, I'm a quantifiable person. So like we can definitively get a plan to start interacting with a variety of communities and understanding and that again, my term is a two year term. So I'm not a person that believes in over, over promising, but I believe in over delivering. I think one of the reasons why people don't like politicians is because they typically know these buzzwords, they know the right things to say, but then once they get in office, they realize that they put out too much. So for me, I'm a realist. And so it's really about obviously going in in two years you have to learn what the job is. Um, you have to know what's expected. So yes, we already know that we have to do bi-monthly meetings, but then in terms of whatever uh, committee we're able to get on, then we want to be able to uh, take part of that as well as helping to impact the community. Just a minute, just a minute. I got to get rid of another okay. one. 
give me a minute. I got to just go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead and continue to Neil. No, I think that was pretty much it. We can take another question. Okay. I think. Yeah, Bob Matter, go ahead. Who's the trolls? Um, yeah. Uh, how how is the uh, water quality improved or unimproved in the last several years? Um, go ahead, Mark. Where's water quality. The water quality has based on the, the amount of aquatic organisms, their fish count has increased, which means the water quality has increased. There is, um, the people like you that are in the North Branch are doing a lot of muscle surveys. Um, Dad will tell you that the water quality has improved. Um, we- can you, can you put a number on it? You know, I can't. Um, I would have to look at a bunch of Tim, Tim, lab Tim, samples. Uh, you, 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 know, you know what? All right, on, James, okay? if you're there. Get rid of them. Blank them out. Get rid of them. James, whatever it is. Yeah, it's, if it's, you don't know them, delete them. If you don't know them, delete them. Well, uh, I don't know who you are, James, but you got an iPod mic. And, and and just mute yourself. This is cause... the same person that was the other one. All right, I'm going to boot her out then. Oh, come on. Look, Tim. Yeah, if you don't know them, boot them. We don't know these people. Boot them. All right. I'll, 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 uh... But being a nice guy, Tim, have some backbone and get rid of these yeah, people. And don't let them back in. Okay. Um... All right, well, we're there. So, you know. Okay. Uh, she wants to come in and listen again. She's fine, but it's just like, you know. No. Well, there's, Tim, there's something funny about this person, obviously. Come on, get a clue. No, <laughs> she's crunching celery. She doesn't no, want to. That, that's, a, that's a cam. That's a, that's a recording that's, from the internet. That's yeah, cool. but, but it's totally, but the purpose is to disrupt what's going on. Right. It's, it's so, probably, uh, probably Democrats trying to, uh, Disrupt the Green Party. <laughs> I don't think my, so. I yeah, think, I think paid, it's. Uh, I think it's a gremlin. Yeah, I think they're paid. Uh, you're saying you're yeah. sure it's a recording from the internet, Bob? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a cam. Yeah. Because okay, I mean, it just, it just. Uh, we had a few other ones playing earlier. I don't know if you saw them, but. I did. It, it's the first time we've been trying to be uh, hacked ever before, but we'll get in. But you know. Yeah. If you see hey, somebody hey, come in, it was good. Like right now. Hello, my bad. I joined a little late. I had to go run a few errands, but I I got to the meeting. What's okay. up? Okay, okay, good. Uh, Mary, um, if you could mute your, uh, where it's our question and answer period. Can you wave your hand if I if you hear me, please? Yes, Danny. I mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, no, no, we'll 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 keep you on, but it's just we've been having some trolls come in recently. You know, you might see another person who's crunching celery or something. And uh, you know we 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 we're not trying to disturb anything. It's the first time I've had to deal with a troll in Zoom. Just so. mute, okay? Mute people and leave them there. Well, what happens, Ellen? Is Ellen, shut up, Ellen. Calm your nerves down, Ellen. Ellen, Ellen what, what's no happening? Need. Ellen, what's happening is that they get unmuted right away. I can't mute them permanently without booting them out. And I'm trying to keep on it as fast as possible, okay? So now we're all set. Larry, thank you for coming tonight. And uh, yeah. And, you know, like I said, you guys, let's get back into our questions. Who's, who's up next? Oh, okay, well, I was still talking about the, the water quality. Um, so the, the, uh, with, with the loss of industry, I, I would have thought uh, the water quality would have improved a lot, but maybe, maybe I'm just uh, naive. I guess, I guess the Water Reclamation District is really, well, they, they're treating wastewater, so it's not it's not just Ellen, shout out uh, to Jesse Not just Ellen. it's not just human waste. It's also uh, pollution or like you know whatever discharges from factories and stuff like that. Is that correct? Yes, and stormwater runoff too, which can, Ellen, stop talking. Can be all kinds of stormwater. Can can be coming off of um, phosphorus in lawn fertilizer is kind of an issue, and people want to mm. limit the phosphorus that's in lawn because it when it rains it jumps off and it jumps into the stormwater and then it runs to the river um uh oil on top of asphalt also oh, yeah, yeah. stormwater issue which goes into the river but 
I also have read stories of they have seen um, freshwater minks in the rivers, which is uh, a big a big key indicator species. So those things make me think the river is 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 a lot healthier. Um, like I said, there are there are places and there are times that I I wish that it was healthier. At the same time, like I said. When I was a Boy Scout, we were canoeing and swimming in all those rivers before 1972. So yeah, I would love to see, you know, my, uh, the across the river from where I live, there's an old campground and I would love to see that developed as kind of a river ap access area. That's okay. it. Okay. Um, all right, our next question is uh who's got the next question raise your hand or larry do you have something to ask us uh no 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 thank okay you. i'm sorry about that um all right I'll who's ask. next on the questions i'll ask one go ahead ellen yeah. and then then charlie after you ellen okay sorry i missed the beginning i wasn't sure i'd be interested until i read tanya's um description and i you know it and I was really interested in what you said about the pharmaceuticals. So I'm making uh, some more coffee. I'll be right like, back. Oh gosh, watch out! It, but anyhow, um, <laughs> I, we had somebody with water talk here before, and I, I've gotten to the point where I'm afraid to drink the water. Oh god, um, I'm afraid to drink the water uh, because it is possible that to put. Uh, you know, a virus Ellen. or a biological Ellen. warfare. In Ellen. The Mary, Ellen, you're cute, but you're not that cute. So shut up and stop interrupting her. Tim, uh, Larry, my name is Larry, not Mary. Troll too. Uh, Larry, we're. I wish Tim would just X you out. Clearly, oh, you're a so troll funny. too. Tim, would you get rid of Larry? Just X oh, him out. Why? Okay, what did Tim, I do? this is not the time Nothing. to be handoff. Ellen. Give He's rid of Larry. Gone. No, no he is. is. He's no. a troll. You know, he does keep, keep, he no. keeps interrupting. He, he keeps so. going He's in and telling Ellen to shut up. Yeah. Ellen. Yeah. Ellen, like I said, Larry's fine now. Let's keep going. Larry has been trolling me. Mute him or else, I mean, this is, or get rid of him, but he's, he's fucking with us, okay? So get no, Larry out not. of there. This is Ellen. not fair to any of them. I know. I mean, come You're on, Tim. This is not a day to be now. Mr. Nice Guy. So you got one job. Get rid of that kid now. No, I'll and get rid of you first. Don't get your coffee because he's just going to fuck with me every time you walk away. This kid fucks with me again. So pay attention, Tim. You don't have to go get any coffee. You don't have to smoke a cigarette. Just sit there and mute this kid. I'm, yeah. never, I'm sorry, you guys, but we've never had trolls here before. But now I know what they are. Okay, and you think gonna... it's really cute. And I don't All think right, it's cute. Uh, this is what's going to what really doing, destroy Ellen? this country. You put somebody what like him in there and we don't right, get Ellen. anybody elected who's going to clean up the water and do well, the right if, thing. If you could, you know, uh, it's just, let, uh, I, you know, so. Uh, Ellen, like I said, self-discipline. Fuck it. Okay. All right. I'm glad. Get the, you know, is there a way to guarantee that we have clean water? I think when they came up with some water problems before, they said they tested it every 10 years. And then, you know, I'm like, every 10 years, I thought when they found something in the water that the whole city would be given out, you know, some kind of insurance. And they go, oh no, we're not changing anything. I mean, how would we know? They could just poison our water and we wouldn't know. So, I mean, I like Tanil and Mark, you look like you really do care about the water. I think most Ellen, of the people in politics just are just machine people. All right. No, well, no, Tim, uh, okay, forget it. Okay, well, Ellen, let me let me address this really quickly. Um, so let's say this. When we, in general, let me address this and then I'll address your question. So the best way to disregard or to deal with um, intruders, if you will, is just to disregard and ignore and try to keep your composure because their whole purpose is to try to get you worked up. So when you do that, you play into their hands. So you just try your best to ignore and then yeah, they can you just need to away. like calm down. Just um, calm down. But to answer your question and Dad, to- I know daddy's rich, but you, you just gotta calm down. I know daddy's rich, just calm down. All right, 
So in either case, I, I don't even know if Larry is old enough to vote, but in either case. Uh, I'm 19. I can show you my ID. I'm, okay. I'm just okay. I just asked. So thank you for answering the question. So hopefully you live within the Cook County area. And if you do what we're doing, because you joined us late. So what we're doing, myself, as well as Mark, are candidates for the MWRD commissioner. So that way you can tell some of your friends, hopefully all of you guys are voters and you can go and vote on November 8th. But to answer you, Ellen. May uh, I invite I, a friend once, here? Once I get done, then we can address you. But that's kind of the protocol. So we want to make sure that we are observing protocol. Okay? Protocol. So well, Ellen, well, 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 if you got the next question, we'll be more than happy to. To answer your question, Ellen, um, it's not that that the water isn't getting better or that it isn't being treated. It's just it's always some type of contamination that's happening. And so all we can do, um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but MWRD does have a small stream maintenance program. And what that is, so um, if ever you happen to see any type of debris in different streams or whatever, they actually have a phone number that you can call. Um, they also have a website that you can can go to where you report the blockages or the debris and they will remove it. And so these are the things that I'm saying where we as citizens, we can do our part to try to help with all of the various contaminations. Um, but yes, the point of the MWRD plans is to treat, treat that water. So you, you, I mean, will it be, you know, a hundred percent pure, um, that we don't necessarily know, but for the most part, it is not dangerous to drink at this point. Not not directly from the river, as, as Mark said, but just in terms of what comes back to you. Okay, right. uh, are you done, Toniel? And I, Ellen, did, you, did she answer your question for you? I think so, you know. Um, All right. Are there, do you think there are standards, you know, where they're testing it regularly and so that there's no... And really the pharmaceuticals, I had read that they, there's no way to get those out of there or even detect it. And um, I it's just weird, but uh, some days it's green and I, it just seems like it's left up to a, a kind of aging bureaucracy. Um, whereas you would think there needs to be standards. Um, okay. So, but I think so, but um, yeah, let if somebody else go ahead. All right, Thank Charlie, you. you're next. And Larry, yeah, if you want to Larry, if you want to I'm go raise your sure. hand, okay? We'll be after Charlie. All right, go ahead, go ahead, Charlie. It looks like Larry left. No, I'm sorry. Charlie, go ahead, please. Sorry about that. I'm Charlie. not certain if this, will you let me ask a question? Please? Yes. I, I, what kind of chair are you? Uh, the, I'm not certain if this is in the, purview, so to speak, of the candidates, but we had a previous Earth Day speaker on several occasions, a plumber and water, water supply guy, and he maintained that the water from the faucets was better Ellen, meet than you, drinkable. Shut up. Will you agree that oh, Larry, that guy uh, or not? Please. All right, let's uh, let's uh, again. Ahead. Charlie. They're watching. Excuse me, Tim. Tim. Yes. Um, Charles was speaking. Can I know just, he is. Can we just meet your mic? All right, Charles, continue. Charlie, go All ahead, right. please. Now he maintained that the water from the faucet was preferable to be drinkable, more drinkable than purchasing water in a bottle, plastic bottle, because they use various Ellen, chemicals to clean the bottling equipment and the bottles. Do you have any idea regarding that? Is there, is there any veracity to that assertion? Yes. And I have read some studies that the source of some of those bottle, the water that goes into those bottles is not all that strictly tested or is not the same source. Um, the amount of degradation inside those bottles or the way that those bottles are cleaned 
is another possibility. The water that comes from, I actually interviewed for the water department that is in Evanston, which is the water that delivers to Des Plaines. They have their own lab. They do testing every day. Um, they have their under federal standards. They have an elaborate filtering system. I asked them about hexavalent chromium, which is a issue Ellen, that is- Shut up and just kiss me. Ellen, mute your mic. Stop talking, Ellen. Get rid of this kid. Um, they're, they're always testing. They're always coming up with standards. There's more and more complicated uh, pharmaceuticals. They pharmaceuticals. Tim, Tim this is a no smoking zone. Metal. Okay. All right. This is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, Tim, Tim, your mic's not working, man. We can't hear you. All right, how's that? Better? Tim, yeah, it's better. Let's get rid of Larry and Randy. Okay, they're trolls. Oh, I, they're, 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 they're not trolls. I think they're listening. Us. They are I am, playing I am with this. Listening. You're not even paying attention. Just get rid of the kids, okay? Ellen, they're keep, every Ellen, time we you are, walk away, they tell Ellen. me to mute. Excuse they tell me, me to kiss them. Uh, they are playing with us. And it, Tim, Tim, Tim if Ellen, I, I, you know that I don't agree Ellen, with you. Need Ellen, to stop. Ellen, 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 everyone, everyone, mute kids, your I mic. Agree with Ellen, her on this. Ellen, let's, These let's, two kids, let's calm down. Ellen, it's everybody. Whenever you get up and leave. Okay, then everybody, you need to mute your mic. Tim was talking. Let Tim finish. And they're right. and they're trolling, and they need to either and and they've made it very obvious that they're not going to behave themselves. Excuse yes, I'm trying are. to behave. You're the but one who is yelling, mother, because I'm old Calm enough down. to be your grandmother. So Margaret, Margaret, no, 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 no. you're the only one Randy, yelling, Randy. Margaret. Serving people, your speaker Randy. left because they keep yes, talking sir. over him, and 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 the other speaker said we should ignore them. But it's really hard for me because I'm getting old and and I'm you know doing that thing. Margaret. So they need to go. They the need only one yelling. to We're go. Trying to walk. If Randy, you don't Randy. get rid of them, you know gonna... why do I stay and try and and not understand what the guy's saying because they're interrupting him and they're going over him and they're telling Ellen to shut up. And you know I don't agree with no Ellen one most told of the time. Ellen to shut and up. So no one she told her is to shut up. Is you got to get rid of them. Get rid of the kids. Do your job. Blank them out, Tim. Do it now. Get rid of those two kids. Okay, that's your job. Blank them well, out. Like you did that I'm out 20 of years old. I'm not even a child. Just behave yourself, Tim. Yes, sir. Come on, Tim. I'll just save you for this rest of the. Ellen, watch your language. Ellen, watch your language. Tim, do the job now. Tim, Tim, I'll just stay muted. I'm gonna stay muted. Okay, Tim, because you are fucking this whole thing up. You have something to say. No problem. And get rid of them. Ellen is always. Just blank them out. Blank them out now. Watch your, watch your language. Calm down, Ellen. Ellen, calm down. Calm down. Larry, this, Larry. Ellen, Ellen, mute your mic. Tim, no, no, just no. get rid of them. You see, you know what you do? You push the button. All right, let's go. No, you, you, you really have to do that, or you have to really stay here because they Tim, are interrupting all the time. Pay attention to your fucking job, Tim. Now, you watch <laughs> those two kids, and then you get rid of them because you know what we're talking about. You can't be this fucking calm stupid. Down. Ellen, Ellen, calm she down. She always Ellen, gets like this at some now, point. Or I think, no, I, I think Meg, everyone the other speaker good. leave and you're really cute and you're really pleased with yourself because you messed up stuff. You're really Margaret, cute. we just need to mute our mic. Tim was trying to you speak. Know what? Let's go back I, to the I meeting. Right? It's the chair of the meeting. You I could just so end it all. pleased with yourself. Tim, no need to do that. We don't need to end this meeting. Don't let these people get mad and make you injured. These people right? are also well, regulars of the college. To leave. Do you well, see I'm on just the trying to listen anywhere? to him. No, here, I'll even turn off my camera. I'll even turn off my if that makes the you interrupted. If that makes the world go around, Margaret, I'll turn off my camera. Shut up. And you kept interrupting. And I I don't care that I don't already he's already left. Okay. Now, are we ready to go with the next part of the question session or not? Okay. I mean, there's there's no problem. I mean, uh, okay, Bob, you got another question? Go ahead. 
Okay, now do you have all the trolls out of here? Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, now is our is our speaker still here? Is Larry still here? Or not Larry. I mean, uh, no, I see. Uh, still here. Yes. No, Mark. Mark is gone, and oh. I mean, I, I think mm -hmm. before you start, Bob. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I think that we as speakers need to really kind of have an understanding as to what purpose we're supposed to be serving. Um, because when we come, I think our impression, what we were told was that we were going to be able to come, we were going to be able to speak about the MWRD, exactly. to basically educate those who came in to educate about the MWRD, and then answer any questions that you all may have. And that's what and we're so trying to do. And so that's and so uh, as long as that's what we're doing. But I know I I do know that Mark left. And when you have a trolling session that happens, regardless of whom is between, then and you you, you in essence you lose control of the meeting. And so it's really not serving anybody well because at the end of the day, you have the people that's leaving out. There is nobody that's coming to an understanding. And so if we can't gain control of the meeting it really kind of makes no sense to have a meeting so that's just my perspective i'll stay as long as we can kind of be in harmony one another one another i have no problems with people disagreeing because people disagree all the time right. but if we're not going to be able to reason together as adults then i i do have other things that i could be doing with my hey, evening. So, uh, no one really cares at all literally no one cares uh, no. all right so tim are you just letting anybody come back in again no, there's a third troll. They're still now. here yeah. now. Like you How can tell you the know? age. He, he's I'm not done. with us. I'm done. I'm leaving. I just got it. That's I just it. I just voted him. Well, you need to boot the other two. No, yeah. we don't even know that guy. I have no clue who that guy well, was. I, I, he is being Randy is being reasonable now, and I think we're all just continue on with what we got. So, Bob, keep your question going on. Well, uh, I, I guess I was gonna. I was going to talk to uh, the other guy, uh, but anyway, he's gone. Um, All right, so I so have no, no further questions. All right. Who's next then? Anybody else? Um, I'm sorry about all the trolling going on here, but uh, Jen, you got anything or, or whatnot? Uh, to Neil, what I, my main concern is, I know you've got a business background and everything else, but there's a lot that goes on in that water reclamation agency. And, you know, I just don't know if, uh, I would imagine that it would, somebody would have to be a qualified water candidate to know what is going on with that agency. Um, Not necessarily. If you look at the backgrounds of the sitting, the current sitting okay. commissioners, um, not all of them do. So you don't have to, there is nothing in terms of qualification. So, okay, let me say it like this. I understand where you mean from a practical standpoint. Yes. So from a practical standpoint, but from a technical standpoint, technically speaking, um, when you look at qualifications, there is nothing in writing that you have to have a degree in water management or water, wastewater background or anything like that from a from a qualification standpoint. Um, but it, I will say, I'm not going to leave that comment alone. I will leave what I was going to say. I'll leave that alone. We will just suffice it to say that we have had other people in office who had absolutely no background and still were elected. And so uh, the point, but the point to your point is that, yes, I am aware um, of the fact that okay. I do not have that background. However, there are various issues other than just the wastewater uh, knowledge that one has to possess in order to be uh, an effective commissioner. Okay. All right. No, I was just kind of curious. That's why. And um, what, uh, what, you know, and, and that's why. All right. Who else has questions? Uh, I got a question. Go, go ahead, Larry. Uh, like hypothetical, like, like, are we allowed to get like get naked type shit? Like, like get comfortable for the meeting type shit? Or? Well, Larry, uh, the, the way the college operates is, okay, we have a speaker who speaks. We start about 6, 6.15. Then we have a question and answer period. 
And at the end of the question and answer period, we have a sim we have a um rebuttal period where each and everybody gets a chance to uh you know speak their mind on it. I give Wait, Charles, just, what's he smoking on? He's got he and he uh, Larry. Um, do you oh. have a question, Larry? No. Or? Larry, Larry, let's cut that. Oh, uh, no, thank you. All right, I'll, I'll cut it out. Damn, cut it. Just me, Jim, just me, get rid of these two guys now. Okay. Please. They're... Go on. What did I do? I just what? told Larry to do his not, not, I kicked the guys. Goodbye. Nothing. You did nothing, sir. Don't kick them. They didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Let's 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 just let him participate. Tim, I can I ask there. what the uh, the first question was? Because I came a little late. What was the All main right, the topic question? Um, our main topic was I don't remember what the first question was, but uh -huh. um, the thing is they have two candidates running for the Water Reclamation District. Toniel's oh, running yeah. off of the uh, Green Party. She's mm -hmm. trying to make her case why we should elect her and what the MWRD is. And uh, what we're done is that yeah. she presented about 615, 620, gave her presentation. The other speaker also gave his presentation. He left because he was getting constantly interrupted, okay? Yeah. And yeah. now what's happening now is that, uh, we, we, you know, we need you guys to just, uh, you know, we, we've been having some trouble with a god couple of trolls. And we I think, like, we can connect that to, like, this meeting, how, like, he was getting interrupted, like, kind of like Margaret was kind of interrupting. Well, no, 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 just, 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 okay, you see, a lot of people here, too, in this format are very hypersensitive about, about yeah. things okay and they okay. they don't they, tim, they, you're uh, being right tim you're being trolled right now are you that's fucking stupid no i'm not was, being trolled. <laughs> tim is not all right. stupid all right now tim if you guys trolled. want to participate that's fine yeah if not, i'm here to participate yes i'm oh, here okay. to participate then, 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 then what the you can guys can do is mute and please yes, follow sir. the protocol okay yes sir yes sir yes i'm gonna all right and the, so we're good on that tim, now, tim i have a tim i have a question Go ahead, bro. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Did you just fall off the fucking turnip truck and hit your oh fucking head God. on the rock? You know, I think what we might do. I is think you just fell off a fucking turnip truck and hit your head on a fucking rock. Oh my God. Well, I'll with that, I, Tim, I will Tim, thank this you is just all. unbelievable. This um, is so man. unbelievable, man. I will thank you all so much for the invite, and I will excuse myself and allow you all to. But thank you all. It was it was a yo, pleasure. Yo, Tonio, Tonio, can I get your Snapchat? Thank you guys so oh, much. She's uh, she's actually, you know, you guys yeah. have uh, have yeah. a great rest basically of interrupted our Tim, meeting. You know, and, uh, usually, us a lot of grief. We, we have Tim, I didn't do anything. Don't, don't bring here. me into this. And the whole rules of the house are that people are allowed to speak Margaret, uninterrupted. Tim was speaking. Pull at a time. And, Tim was now speaking. let her go. Okay, and 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 you guys are not following the rules. You're just you're just interrupting things. The minute that Tim left, uh, Larry was going. Shut up. Mute yourself. Uh, and really? and Ellen already was muted, and she wasn't interrupting. And so he was. You're shaking your head like you have no idea what I'm talking about, aren't you? Yes, too? I don't. I don't know what anyway, you're talking about. Like so. Well, you, I, you, I don't you. care that you don't know what you were that we were talking about. You were interrupting, and I'm really sorry because this this what? I've been coming to these meetings for for <laughs> almost forty years, and um. And uh, which is a hell of a lot older than you are, and 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 no, I found that they've been very important in helping me to organize my thoughts. And I think that you guys are juveniles, so I don't know if uh, if, if you Margaret, what did you just put in the chat? If you are mature enough to understand that you're supposed to listen to people and not interrupt people, but you guys are trolling this, and I really resent it. And I was I was tuning in to to I was coming to the meeting to find out something about the water reclamation board or find out something more about the reclamation board and what these people's qualifications were. And that's what you're supposed to do as a citizen of the democratic society is find out who the hell you're voting for and who's going to control your life. Who's doing the things Amen. that affect your life? But you guys Amen. aren't letting us do that. You guys are Wait, not letting real us quick. do that. Mar why you did you guys tell Tim to F himself? 
you guys are just frustrated with me. That's why. No, I'm, uh, I'm done with that. And it's not, and it looks like we're being invaded by trolls for okay. Christ's sake. So that's it. Yeah. Margaret, you told Tim to go F himself. Uh, like, look, leave that alone. I am. That's directed at me. I will leave. So go to Margaret with that. So just leave that alone, okay? Yes, sir. God. May I inquire something here? Go ahead, Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Number one. On? The I wish to apologize uh, to anyone who for this disturbance. Uh, I don't know the controls of Zoom. I don't know why it is impossible to silence someone and I everyone. But one time, why that was not done, I have no explanation to furnish you. I apologize for the deficiencies of the chair and the college complexes. They did not, Zoom has controls and they were not utilized. They're still not presently being utilized. And mm -hmm. as a result, this was a dysfunctional meeting. Now, corrective measures are that either we go over the controls subsequent to the meeting, and I don't see why these, the entire audience was not silenced. If somebody insisted on coming back, I believe they can be eliminated in some fashion. According I've been to watching, Charlie. Why already. they were not, why they were not, I do not know. Okay. At this point, I'm going to stop now, the other meeting. times at meetings where I have personally been disruptive, I was immediately silenced by the chair on one or two occasions. Why that did not happen here, I have no explanation to give anyone. Hopefully in the future. I heard Margaret tell you to shut the F up. Wait, see, that's what I mean. He still will not enforce... Well, you totally silenced everyone, Tim. No, okay. Charles. Shut up. Oh, God. Okay, this meeting is Shut now... up. No, no, this... Okay, you guys, Randy... Is there any reason you cannot silence everyone, Tim? I just got rid of Randy. Um, oh, I'm here to participate. I have not caused nothing. Um, I'm get rid of this guy. Get Larry, rid of I'm gonna, yeah, if you want to come back in, that's fine. But we, yes, uh, I'll, 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 I'll come back him. next time. Yeah. We need you. We need hey, you to need you to mute time. Larry and not interrupt. To do this. Yes, yes. What is the problem of your doing this? What is What is stopping you? He was just removed. You are responsible. He's trying to be you, courteous. Sir. Now, if you don't, you're in charge of the controls, use them. I don't know why you're not. Because I thought he would. I have no explanation. I can say, be quiet. Now, you are totally responsible and culpable for what took place. And you still insist that for some reason, for granting audience to some people who are not here to care about. And I, it eludes me in completely. Now, in the corrective message, the only thing we can do, anyways. The only, the, that's what I mean. Get rid of this guy. Tim, zap him. I just no. did. I just Anybody did. that breaks the rules gets zapped, very simply. We will, I'll talk with Tim, and we'll adopt some corrective measures. Tim, if you're unable to do so, We'll have to find a replacement. Maybe we should go back to rotating chairs. If that's the case, if you're unable to eliminate disruptive oh people god. from the group. Oh my god. Well, uh, what? <laughs> All right. Uh, Since yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> stop the I'm gonna stop the meeting now and stop the recording at this point because I think we've just divulged into everything else.